Hello and welcome to the PC Mission and Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. Um, as always, thanks for stopping by. And uh, in the previous three videos, we've started to get our antiviruses rolling in the proper way. Now we've got Avis Free Edition installed. Um, if you haven't watched them, obviously go back and watch the previous videos. Uh, they are at the website and at my YouTube channel. Um, so this episode, we're actually going to optimize Avis to antivirus uh, so that it's running uh, with very little intrusiveness and interruptions because I like to play video games and stuff. And I don't like pop-ups. I'm actually, you'll notice, you'll, you'll learn very quickly that I'm one of those people who hate to be notified by my computer about anything. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're also going to scan the computer and uh, we're going to make sure your real-time shields are running. So after you have Avist Antivirus opened, which you can open in the bottom right-hand corner, you see this little Avist Antivirus icon. You can double-click on that and that will open it up. Uh, it's going to bring you up to your summary page. Now the summary page, the actual uh, making it non-intrusive is... Uh, is very easy to do in Avis. They have this silent slash gaming mode. I'm a huge fan of this silent slash gaming mode. What it does is when you turn it on, it actually runs in the background and it is, it's quiet. It doesn't tell you. It does all the updates. It downloads all the updates. It still does the real-time scanning. Uh, it just makes sure that uh, it doesn't annoy the heck out of you while it's doing it. So just select the turn on and I'm going to turn on permanently and uh, that'll actually make sure no Avis message pop-ups alerts will be displayed and no sounds will be played. So that's a great way to actually make uh, have a great antivirus that will not annoy the heck out of you. So if you're playing games or if you have some program uh, loading, it won't pop up and annoy the heck out of you. Uh, so next thing we need to do, of course, is we need to go to on the left-hand side. Let's go to um, let's go to real-time shields. Go ahead and select that. Now what we have here is we have your file system shields, which scans in real time all your files on your computer. Your mail shield will scan your email. Your web shield will scan your internet usage. Your peer-to-peer -peer shield will be for those of you who like to download using torrents and peer-to-peer -peer programs. It'll scan those. Instant messaging shield is for those of you who use instant messaging programs. Network shield is more of a generalized incoming and outgoing network flow security checker. And behavior shield. I'm actually curious. Uh, suspicious behavior alerting if any uh, unusual behavior is detected. So you have all these shields that are actually running in the background in real time. You don't have to run them individually. So that's going to constantly run in the background and make sure that things aren't weird things aren't happening, you know, you're not getting viruses. It will catch a lot of them. They might not catch everything. So what we need to do on your computers, now that we have a new antivirus installed, we do need to run a scan. What I typically recommend doing for the first time scanning your computer is a full system scan. As you can see, I click scan computer on the left, scan now, and full system scan is right here, and then just click start. And obviously you're going to have to let it run probably for an hour or two, depending on how fast your computer is. And anything it finds, just clean out. Just do whatever it instructs you to do. One more thing that I want to have you do is I'm going to show you how to register your software. Now, the software is free, but you have to register. And registering is ridiculously easy. In the upper right-hand corner here, select, uh, I believe, settings. Let me go ahead and make sure here. Um, we'll go to... No, I don't want to do that. I think you might have to do upgrade. Let's just see if it brings me online. Yeah, that's not the one. Oh, it's probably something really easy. Let's go to maintenance. Ah, okay. Select the maintenance on the left-hand side, obviously, and then we want to select registration. And it says current status not yet registered. And what that's going to mean is in 30 days, they're going to yell at you. You have to register. Well, it might not yell at you because you have gamer mode on. And then all you have to do is click register now. And it's going to retrieve your product information, and it try it asks you if you want to buy the free the full edition for uh, thirty dollars. Says it's fifty percent off. I don't know any antiviruses that are sixty dollars, but we don't want to use that one right now. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the register for the free edition, and then you select that. It'll retrieve information on your product. All you have to do really is enter your name and email address, and then down here at the bottom, click register for free license, and you're done. So you've officially registered your Avis free antivirus, which makes it permanently free. So that's all there is to this video. We've shown you how to uh, register your antivirus, make it run in silent mode, and scan your computer completely. So make sure the computer completes the scan. You remove any viruses that it may find, and uh, we're going to move forward in the next episode. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe, share with friends and family, because that's the only way to help PC Michiana really grow. Thanks again.